Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So in this video, we will learn about the routing concept with a simple example. We will take the as usual post example which we have done in our earlier uh, videos. So I will, I will install the bootstrap thing. So for the installing the bootstrap, we need to get it. I am taking the simple bootstrap CDN so that we can uh, add it very quickly. I am going to the bootstrap CDN JS and here we can take this 5.9 bootstrap.min.css I am copying this one let's go into here and I will go to the index.html file and I will paste it at the top so bootstrap has been successfully installed so main.js and we are having the routes and all those things fine and in the component section we can remove uh, this one this one this one this one so we can directly remove this all the things there is no need why because we are starting from the scratch fine and we have the pages right so let's create a component header component the navigation header component so we'll try to maintain it like this the naming conventions and all those things you'll learn it afterwards so first we'll create the nav navigation so in the bootstrap if you go to the bootstrap bootstrap so we'll copy that uh, navigation thing bootstrap navbar so we'll directly press uh will directly go to the google navbar and we'll have the couple of navbars which we can be able to see we'll take the simple navbar which is here i will copy the entire code and here in this header component i will paste this one all so this is our navbar and here view router we'll create like this and we'll have these all the things and first one is the home and next one is the about and the last one what we can have okay home it is there right about and the last one is the post so we'll have the post so there we'll try to write all the code the so home about post is there let's convert this one to the router link let's convert this one to the router link and we need to copy and paste it here router link and href should be converted into two and here we need to add the slash and the same thing router link and here also router link and this one should be two okay and here it should be slash about and here also it should be router link and here also it should be router link and this one should be converted to two fine and here it should have slash post so fine so here we are having this code and let's go to the app dot view which we are having it here and we don't want this all the code so let's remove this all the code first one we'll be having this header header let's add this header and we need to import this header so script setup import header from import header component from header so here we can have the header component let's copy and paste it here also so header component we have added now if you go to the app dot view there is our code yeah see here we are able to see this view rotor and all those things right so we are having some css so that css is coming from maybe i could be wrong main.js yeah let's remove this main.css fine let's see yeah here i am able to see the so home if i click here about and all those things are working fine and we need to add the rotor view for adding this rotor view what we need to do let's go into the app dot view and here create a container create the container and we will be having this call hyphen md hyphen 12 and in this one we, we will have this router view that's it and now if you see the output so here home about post post we are having page not found okay let's go to the main.js and here i will create the post and for this one we need to have we need to create the post component okay let's go to the pages and create the post dot view and template post page so we'll have the post page we'll try to make it as simple app dot view and here oh sorry in the main dot js we'll have the post we will have the post and for this one so we need to import the from the post dot view and here we'll be having the post so we have successfully added this one post now let's see whether it, the post component is working or not on now it will work i think hey why it's gone Still it's gone well, let's see in the pages we are having the post dot view okay 
in the pages post dot view posts and posts we are having uh, did i miss anything wrong so let's see here okay it's not working right now so here let's try to run it again it will take some time to run it fail to import post dot view from for does the file exist yes it does it actually okay oh, post dot view is there post dot view is there in this post dot view we have the post page okay so we will have a do simple do not a problem we can add it so i have added it let's see whether we are able to see let's say let it execute still we are getting this error so why we are getting this error is okay so here this is the problem so we have added two dots okay now i think this one will work i think now let's try to rerun it again this sometimes it will happen post dot view i have created with two dots post dot dot view now it's working fine so here we are able to see post page also everything is working fine now what i want to do is so here i want to show the post details for showing this post details i will be using the simple json placeholder so the fake api slash post so this is the thing i am trying to use it now here if i go here into this one post dot view and here let's have this one scripts so here i can have the script setup okay and constant post is equal to it's a ref of by default i will keep it as an empty and another one what i want to do is so let's get the fetch post okay fetch post i will use and constant fetch post is equal to so we can add it like this and here we will use constant response is equal to await fetch of like this so i am calling the thing so you are using await then you need to use the async okay so we have fetch and we got the post so post dot value is equal to await response dot json which is available in the fetch api return value so we are having this fetch post so if you want you can call it in the on mounted so you can call it here hook you can use it on mounted you need to call this fetch post try to maintain standard so now this is the fetch post so now we are able to get the fetch post and here let's bring it a little bit down and here what i will do is so here i will create a table which is a class table table and uh, table hyphen stripe or something we will be having little i didn't remember exactly table hyphen stripe or something like that now so here i will be having th and tr and th i will use it so i am using the id and i will be using the title and i will be using another one is the body okay so these are the things i'll be using so now we need to loop over t body and we can have the tr and td we can have and tr we need to loop over so vi hyphen per post in post and we need to have unique key that is nothing but key is equal to post dot id and here we can have post dot id and the another one is the title and the another one is the body so which we are able to get it from the api so the, so don't think id title and body i am using the same thing to highlight it let's go to the here and if i refresh this page yeah we are able to see successfully we are able to see the all the tabular data so don't think about this page initial and all the things you'll do it afterwards so we have successfully able to get it now here if you want you can have something like v hyphen if post dot length if post dot length is there then only we will be calculating now if i go to the home and if i get the post so here we are able to get it so basic thing we have did okay so now we have did the basic thing though so this is how we will be doing so all the time so whenever we are moving here to the post page we are able to get it so this is how we will be doing so now if you want to get a single post if you want to view the single post how we can do it let's try to see in the next video hope you understood about this one so I am creating this one in a video iPhone 54 create a new branch. Okay. So whenever you want for the reference, you can go to this here reference video hyphen 54 and I will commit this one all so create simple post header or something like this. 
now i am committing this all code so video fn 54 so if you want to get it so you can go here and github.com slash composition router i will tell you in every video so if you want to have this one all so you can get it so here video fn 54 is there so whenever you want to check the header code and all those things means you can directly go to the video fn 54 and you can download the code and you can check the code okay so i will provide this one in the link in the in the what i can say in the comments in the in the description below so you can take a look at that one that's it guys so in the next video we'll see about the dynamic route uh, mapping uh params match hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you